chip to a passive infrared motion sensor on the Wi-Fi, unboxing and review, how does it work, can I see it in the Google Assistant, how to add it to Tuya application, can I see it in the Home Assistant, automations that you can do with it, all that and not only. In this video, SmartTube welcomes, consider subscribing, let's go! Today I have for you a passive infrared uh, motion sensor that I bought on the AliExpress. It was kind of cheap uh, sensor because I bought it for around uh, I think five or six dollars. So it is a Wi-Fi version. So it means that it won't have a button battery. It will have a much bigger battery and the sensor will be much bigger. We need three AAA batteries. On the box you can see how it looks like, that it works on the Wi-Fi, that is a passive infrared motion sensor, it works with Tuya. On the back we have some details about the device, so as I said we have triple A batteries, uh, three of them, that are 1.5 volts. So here is very important information that usually the batteries that are rechargeable won't have the needed voltage so they won't work correctly so this is exactly the thing that i had with my previous wi-fi sensor the temperature sensor you can find the link to this video in the video description of this material and i was using there my rechargeable batteries and they uh, fail i think on you know one or two days so you need to remember that you need to use batteries that has and uh, that have this uh, voltage so 1.5 volt it says that it can stand by time for one year i'm not sure yeah let's see uh, how it will, will last in i don't know maybe i will put it to the corridor just to test how long it will manage with this uh, free batteries and uh, sensitivity distance five meters i don't know whether that's far or not but for sure in in some sm not big rooms it's gonna be enough and wireless type so this is wi-fi 2.4 gigahertz so that's yeah that's normal usually it's not a 5g so uh, that's fine on the bottom we don't have anything on the sides one is empty on the other side it's just marked that it is wi-fi and you have qr code to get the proper application where you can add and control and set some automation sense with this sensor. I can just add that I usually don't buy this kind of stuff. I prefer to have a Zigbee devices that last much longer and uh, from two, uh, even two years or three without any problems with the button battery. On the Wi-Fi you need much bigger batteries because the Wi-Fi connection drains much more energy. And with this is coming the size of the sensor that is much bigger than the other sensor that I have. I usually have the Akara or Media uh, motion sensors. So now we can go and check what is inside. Let's open it. <laughs> wow, the sensor is really big. Hmm. That's it. So this is the sensor. Okay, the plastic. Hmm. It's not very wide. On the camera it seems to be white, but it's a bit dark. It's very light. When I put the battery for sure it won't be light. But what we have here, so here is the sensors. Here are the sensors. And on the back we have, oh, we can turn it on and off. That's okay, but hmm, okay, that's a nice solution. That's fine. We have a reset button, so I assume it's also for pairing. So put to put the device in the pairing mode and here we can place the batteries, three AAA batteries. I have them just next to me so I will place them and I will put them inside in a second. So we have also a metal stick to press the button to reset it. However, yeah, I would be able to press it with my nail. So that's still fine. Then what we have here, we have a double side tape and 
the cover which actually you put this on I don't know on the wall on, or on the ceiling or whatever you want and then you can attach the device to it so this like this and I assume you need to press it as you can see here there are some things that you need to squeeze it and they will keep stick stick to it firmly that's that's the part and we have of course the manual so motion sensor instruction okay we have even some pictures so i will just show you it and uh, not much to say from my side but let's start from the beginning so here we have about how to register create the account how it works what angle and distance so we have 120 degrees angle five meters and we can add it to the smart life application but i have i think two years smart so i will add it to that to that application yeah here we have the reset on off okay nothing else on the back it's they state that it works with the google assistant and you what do you, what do you have to say is okay that you can ask about the battery battery level but i'm not sure whether that's what we want to see i would rather say what is or maybe a automation what will say that the present has been or there has been emotion in my in my room so i'm not sure whether i will be able to do that but uh, let's let's see and this is the manual okay so i can take it on this side we don't need that double inside tape uh, the reset stick we can have it mm, this hanger can go to the box and we can go now and place the batteries so i will open the batteries now the box with the batteries i have three of them already and we can put them to the sensor oh nice blue light and it's now blinking so i assume it is in the pairing mode but we don't need to rush we can reset it in a second so on the side i have a tablet which is in which i have opened already the tuya smart application so here tuya smart sorry for having like that but i thought that it's nice to see two things at the same time so i have i don't want to have two cameras so i have one camera and i hope you will feel with it okay i'm in the app you can see my lights but okay so what i will do now i will reset it or maybe let's first close the back okay so now what i will do i will reset it so oh maybe this how this to just to see the top oh no i actually not able to press the reset button so resetting now the device okay I, let's assume that it is resetting oh i think it's already found the device there is a peer sensor so let's add it nice sorry it's in polish but it's asking whether i want to found the wi-fi so let's put the, the password okay now i set i put the password and now it's trying to add the sensor the sensor is not blinking anymore i'm not sure what's happening now and something appeared again so yeah let's let's check it i think it has added it added the device but let's see not sure what's happening now oh yeah it's 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 there human status seems like recording i'm entering the records and it recorded i don't know like a half a minute half minute ago emotion whether that's gonna work yeah it's about the automation record okay so as you could see the device added really easily to the application so that's nice and i don't know what's that the smart i'm just entering the smart we don't have any sense so what we can do now if uh, the peer if there is a if there is a motion so the first one then what so let's see whether i can add a notification send notification okay so let's send a not notification oh, no. let's take this one and then move we don't need any other settings and save so let's say no notif peer 
and save yes we want to turn it on we have the motion and then we want to have a notification i'm not sure whether that's gonna work because we are like you know moving and moving so what i will do i will put the sensor this way and when the sensor will be off then what we can do we can put the, i will put the hand behind it or in front of it and see whether we will get the notification so it's good to check that you can you have turned on the notifications so i have notifications on that's fine and we can go back to the application of the tuya smart and we can see that no one stayed so let's see whether i will get now the notification so let's put it this way and now i'm going with my hand i don't know how to see well, you could see it yeah and in the back i'm just putting my hand and yeah i have something on the top oh it's deleted so this is what you've seen here on the front that was the notification so that's working it was a, a bit of a lag i don't know like two seconds maybe you can see that on the in the material what lag was it but it works so now what i want to do that we can see that it is working the lag i think it's acceptable it's not that bad maybe what we can do okay so we can see that the state change quite quickly what i'm thinking to do is to make a another uh, automation i'm just thinking why i cannot do more i will add more things here so control single device so what i will do i will add the actions after the the movement so what i am doing now control single device and what i will uh, what i will do i will turn on the lights so i'm not sure which light is which but let's say this light that's i don't know or maybe not turn on so turn on and here i'm just selecting turn on and save okay and go so we have now two actions notification and turn the light so now i'm just saving it and it's saved and the state is no motion one two three okay like two three seconds and the light turn on it works and i have a notification so unfortunately i won't show you the light but uh, or maybe uh, this light has been turned on it works i moved again in front of the device okay we know that it works with with tuya and everything well we can see some notifications we have the notifications too the light is turning on so that's that's perfect let's set a nice name for the peer don't want to call it pir let's give it a name mo mo, mo motion motion i know let's say shed motion shed motion shed we have we have it and now i will switch to the phone and let's see how the google assistant is working we are now on the phone and you can see that i have a motion shed so now what i will do i will go to the google assistant and ask to sync devices and i hope it will work here it said that it is working on it and i don't know what but uh, what we can do now we can go to the google home to link to your uh, smart application you need to press add then services or service then handled by or service by google and here you can see that i have uh, to your smart but what you can do you can also add a new one so you can look for it and type to ya but as, as you can see i have it here so when i enter it uh, i can see that i have seven devices so yeah i have it so now i can go back yeah go back please black back back and let's go to the devices and i want to find my new motion so motion shared and uh, how i can find it so is it is it even here or not because brush kitchen lots of stuff okay so i found it i have a motion shed so it is it is here i just entered that yes it is that so motion shed it is added so the sync devices work fine but actually i don't know what i can do with it let's ask the 
Google Assistant. So I will write what it was in the manual. What is the battery level in Mo motion shed? And what is happening now? It's working. Motion shed has 100% battery. Okay, if you say so. Is motion shed on? Not sure whether that will work, but let's see. Mm, that's not that. Or maybe what is the status of motion shed? Maybe that's gonna work. What it's giving me is just showing the the status. But can you tell me the status of the motion shed? Maybe can you tell me me the status of the shed? Ah, oh, not of the shed. Not sure whether it's you can hear it, but hmm. I don't know whether it's not telling me that because of the the. Okay, so it's telling me nothing, just showing the motion shed. But what will happen if I now put my hand in front of the motion? Is it going to update? So I received already the notification from Tuya, but I don't see it here. However, if I ask about the status now, is it going to update? No, it's not doing anything. That's a pity. Now what I think what we can do, maybe we can add the automation for it. Let's see whether it will work. So it's going to be for the home. So everyone will have it. We don't. Okay. How to start the routine? We want to make, ask the device to, to trigger the automation. And can I, no, that's no search button. That's really, really bad. There's no search button. But let's look for the motion sensor. I don't know whether it's going to be here. So let's, let's see. But it seems that it's not, it's not here. But let's see, let's see. Oh, let... Okay, so it seems like there is no motion, uh, motion shed here. Seems that you can only check the battery. So the Google Assistant is, is useless. For the Google Assistant, I do not recommend it. Yeah, the only thing, the good thing is that you can have a notification on the phone. However, I assume I can have it also on my home assistant. So if I now go to the home assistant, I hope that I can see the new device. We can go to settings, integrations, and here we have Tuya, 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 Tuya. And what we can do, we can reload the integration. And let's see whether we have more devices. Yes, we have much more now, uh, much more. We have one more device. Motion shed is here. Let's see how it will work. So motion is clear. Yes, yeah, so here I think it was, oh, I even got it, be in the, the sensor changed its status before I got the notification. So the motion is working in the home assistant without any problems. I will not tell you how to add the Tuya devices to home assistant as it's very easy i can I, I think i may cover that in my other videos about home assistant however it's just adding the integration or through hacks the to your local and then you add the integration and you are fine we have a motion shed with the 100 percent battery and now i will just go back to the camera of the smartphone it's time to say some summary about the device, about this passive infrared motion sensor. I don't like the devices that work on the Wi-Fi, so it's hard to say whether I should recommend that or not. For sure, the things on the Wi-Fi doesn't, uh, the, thing, the things on the Wi-Fi do not need any hub, so any gateway, uh, because the Zigbee devices needs to connect first to the gateway, which is connected to the uh, router. That's the main two difference between the Wi-Fi devices and the Zigbee. And if you can accept that it will just connect by the Wi-Fi and this, the, the size of the device, it's much bigger, then, uh, no, it, 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 then it should be fine for you. For me, the device is a bit too, too big. So I prefer the Zigbee devices. But I, I cannot t say anything wrong about this device for now because it could handle 
all the movements. So I move it in front of it. Oh, yeah, I, I used hand, but I also did some tests when I was just walking, when I was just passing through uh, near it and it was uh, seeing me. So the sensor is working. I was like two or three meters away from the sensor and everything was fine. The price is really low. It's uh, usually the Wi-Fi sensors are a bit cheaper than the Zigbee based on what I've seen, but the, the, but the difference is not big. It's cheap. It doesn't need any gateway, any hub to connect to. It can connect straight to the Wi-Fi. The only problem that you can have is that when you have, I don't know, 10 motion sensors, 10 temperature sensors, then you will add 15 contact sensors, so those door window sensors. You can really grow the number of devices that are connected to your Wi-Fi and then that will start to... That's a good way to start problems with your network quality and stability. So I do not recommend having many devices or or if you know how to handle so many devices then you should be fine. But it's usually then very expensive solution for it because you need then access points that you can you will just use for the IoT devices, so those devices and that can complicate your network and you know I have such I have such I had such problems I had too many devices and I had to buy a new router which was which is now working on Wi-Fi 6 and can handle many more uh, devices I bought it from AliExpress 5 or 6 dollars so very cheap as you could see you with the motion sensor you can set an alarm for example that you will get a notification and the and for example, and turn the light on, or it can be just the light on. If you enter the, the bathroom, the toilet, or any other room, you can turn on the light thanks to that sensor. If you have other light, if you have lights that work, uh, that are in the, that works with, uh, that are powered by, by Tuya. Or if you have home assistant, then you have more possibilities with this device. So you can create much more automation sense and whatever you think about. From me, that's going to be everything. So thank you for your attention. Consider subscribing and see you next time.